Hello Stings, in today's video we are going to be looking at writing equations in the point slope form. Here we have y minus y sub 1 equals m times the quantity x minus x sub 1. And we are going to leave our equations in this form. We will simplify a little bit, but basically this is it. y sub 1, m, and x sub 1 are the points, or not the points, but the values that we will need to substitute in. So looking at our first equation, they are going to give us a slope. So here's our slope of negative, excuse me, negative 4. So m equals negative 4. And it's going to pass through this point, x sub 1, y sub 1. And that point is 2, negative 3. So here we have a skeleton for our formula. And all we're going to do is substitute those values in. and go from there. So slope is negative 4, so I'm going to put the negative 4 here. y sub 1 is negative 3, so we get a negative 3 in this parentheses. And x sub 1 is a positive 2, so that positive 2 goes there. Now all we have to do is simplify. Subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. Slope's not going to change, and your x minus 2 stays an x minus 2. So here we have an equation in point slope form. Okay, so now we have um, an example for when we're given two points. So here we have x sub 1, y sub 1, and this point will be x sub 2, y sub 2. And in order to find the slope, we can do one of two things. We can use the skeleton for the formula for slope, or we can make a table of values and do change in y and change in x. So let me take care of both of those very quickly. So here we have y sub 2 is 7 minus our negative 3 for y sub 1. x sub 2 is 4. x sub 1 is 2. We would put 2, negative 3, and 4, 7 in the table. Our change in y is a positive 10. Our change in x is a positive 2. So here we have m, sorry, m is going to equal 10 over 2, so m is equal to 5. On this side, again, we're going to get m is going to be the change in y over the change in x is going to be 5. So our skeleton for a point slope form looks like this. Yes, I know we have double parentheses there. So our m is 5. We can go ahead and put that in. And we're going to use the same point that we used before because that ended up being the first point for this example. Then we simplify. Again, y minus a negative here. That is going to give you y plus 3. Our slope is 5, and we get x minus 2. It's a little bit better. So here we've had an example of when they give you just slope and a point. When they give you two points, you must find your own slope and then do the same thing you did in the first example. Now they have given us a graph. In this graph, we have these two points, and I'm going to call this x sub 1, y sub 1. And instead of using the formula, I'm going to count up to, so my change in y is going to be a positive 2. And my change in x is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4. So my slope is going to be positive 2 over negative 4. And whenever I simplify that, I get a negative 1 half. So I use the graph to get my slope. I'm going to write the skeleton for my point slope form and substitute in values. My y sub 1 is a positive 2. 
my slope is a negative one half and my x sub one is a negative five. Now I simplify y minus two equals negative one half and subtracting a negative is the same as adding a positive. So here we have from a graph where we can see two points and count out the slope the equation of this line here written in well, this line here written in point slope form where we have a point here of negative five and a point here of positive two and our slope of negative one half. So our last example is when we're given an, um, a, an equation and they want us to graph it. So we need to pull out our point and our slope from the equation. So here is m, here is y sub 1, here is x sub 1. So my point is a positive 3, positive 2, and my slope is going to be 3 over 1. So I'm going to go ahead and plot the point because I can't use the slope until I have a point. So I'm going to go over 3 and up 2, and here's my point. And from there, what I'm going to do is graph more points using the slope. So I go up 3, 1, 2, 3, over 1, up 3, over 1. That's as far as I can go on this graph, or on this coordinate plane section that I have here. So I'm going to go back the other way. Since I went up and right, I can now go down and back, down and back, or down and left. Once I have all of those plots, or sorry, all those points plotted, then I can connect those points into a line. And in order for it to be a line and not a line segment, I have to put arrows on the end. So here I've been given an equation and I was able to graph the line because the equation was in point slope form. So I was able to pull out that point and that slope from the equation. So here is four examples, or here are four examples of point slope form.